Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on a stun attack system for the great sword. So here first we need to uh, fill stamina by doing attacks, successful attacks on enemies. So here we can't they are blocking. I need to wait for a window. I can't block the unblockable attacks. So yeah, after filling some stamina, I would be able to do a stun attack. So when the stun attack is activated, it will be notified in the middle of the screen after a successful parry. Let's see. Oh, that's a heavy attack. Yeah, like that. Now that's a stun attack, which instantly killed the enemies. So yeah, let's see how to do that today. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you. So this is a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system series I'm doing. So you can watch all other episodes as well. I'll leave the link to the playlist in the description below. And also you can download full uh, project from my Patreon page once you become a member. Well, not just this project, you can download thousands of projects that I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. I'll leave the link to the Patreon page as well in the description. And yeah, let's get back to today's tutorial okay so the way the current stun attack system works is like this uh, here stun attack so basically when I successfully parry an attack this ability is enabled through this event which sends a reference to the victim so then when I activate the ability uh, I use the attacker and also the victim and play a paired animation which allows me to uh, do a, a big complex synchronized animation on both characters that shows a stun attack so let me show that show how it works with the regular sword and shield here yeah. first we need to gain stamina by attacking by doing some regular attacks let me Me do that first oh I got hit well it would be easy if I have multiple characters So the heavy attacks are not I just okay now I have enough stamina in the blue bar. Now if I do a perfect parry, oh that's an unblockable attack which I can't parry. We need to wait for a yellow attack. Okay, now this is the stun attack I was talking about. So yeah. Now that's what I want to have for the great sword as well but this is currently i'm only using the animations for sword and shield okay so first here i'll add a required tag now that i want to 
have this only for sword and shield let's just say sword I'll add a required tag so this will be activated only if the character is holding uh, uh, the regular sword okay compile now let's create the chart blueprint and let's call it red sword standard at red sword now open it here as a required tag I'll add great sword equipped weapons dot great sword equipped now I have imported this uh, paired animation great sword paired attacker and victim so basically this uh, these are the two animations this is attacker this will be the stun attack for the attacker and then this should be for the victim okay now let me first enable root motion for this and also for this and then let's create a montage okay now let's go to great sword stun attack here stun attack montages I'll add those two this is attacker and this is victim alright what else now uh, let's we need to uh, give this standard aggregate sword when the character collect the sword so great sword collect great sword here right now as a granted ability i give standard ag sword so i'll change it to great sword now let's try with the great sword They are blocking. Okay, they are blocking. I think I would need some more stamina. okay that's the animation all right so that's the stun attack system for the great sword yeah that looks a bit simple that's already because we have done the bulk of the work by when we set up the stun attack system earlier for the sword and because of we have been maintaining proper hierarchy it is easier for us to add new abilities by extending the existing system which is the beauty of gameplay ability system but i think there is one point that i would like to improve on uh, here here i have i have been used using a delay i think instead of using a delay if i had use a event that would be better but i will look into that perhaps later Oh, actually we could use the same thing we did here in the attacks in the regular attacks we were waiting for this notifier.attack landed event so perhaps we can use the same approach but we will have to add this 
attack landed uh, event notifier to the animations as well. So here we have three different animations. Maybe here. Would be a good place. Let's add uh, notify trigger event. Notify a hat line. Okay, let me copy this. And paste. Oh, I can't paste. Okay. Okay. That's... one the other one here now I'll do the same for the great sword animation as well so here okay trigger is correct all right now let's turn attack sword here instead of using this delay I'll break it here. Oh, this part is not used, so let me remove that. Here, let's add the sequence and wait for gameplay no what's the wait gameplay event right wait gameplay event okay so here we have already selected the attack landed then yeah are there anything else that we need to connect no all right and also in any case if this get interrupted i will call it all right uh Wait a minute. What if this get if this uh, event already called and then oh here we don't need this delay anymore. Oh, we should be continuing from here. Event received. uh and yeah maybe we should have a once not oh uh, maybe i'll leave that for now let's not complicate this here okay because uh, this is not where I need to connect. If it get interrupted, we need to activate the death sequence. So yeah, now let's check. Yeah, I'm blocking. I'm 
unblockable. Unblockable. Let's do a heavy attack. No, still working. It was too long to affect the death so I think maybe this could be a little slower uh, smaller the delay all right so that's enough for today let me finally move these two correct folders standard attack sword goes into sword and standard attack great sword goes into great sword all right and that's all i want to do for this episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and in upcoming episodes also we will continue to work on imp improving the systems and maybe a gear selection system so yeah let's see and goodbye